All right, Steve, we had a beautiful Friday, pretty yeah. decent Saturday. How are we looking for the football game tomorrow? Are we going to like keep this good weather trend going or mm, no? Not really. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, Kelsey, I, I don't think the worst of the weather tomorrow will be during the football game. So that is one good bit of news here, but it won't be as great as yesterday. I mean, we set the bar really high, nearly 80 degrees. Today, 60 degrees. That was your high in town a little after lunchtime. So it has just been unseasonably mild, almost a spring like pattern here for tomorrow. Some changes on the way. That's for sure here. But it looks like the heaviest of the rain will be timed out so that it's later tonight, early tomorrow morning. In fact, we've issued an alert day. The threshold for flooding is slow, so low right now that just a little bit of rain can cause some problems. So we have that in effect here with a lot of people in town visiting. And if you're going to be out and about here, just know that rain will be heavy during the overnight hours into early Sunday morning. Raven Sunday still looks like rain is on schedule to taper off to showers here by tomorrow in the morning hours between 7 and 9 that real intense rain starts to ramp down. It's blustery, it's chilly during the game and it's probably showery as well, but it's definitely playable and then by early next week we get a nice of or a nice stretch of weather here Monday and Tuesday temperatures back into the 40s. So here's the latest forecast. If you've been watching this week, it hasn't changed a whole lot. We've been seeing light rain or a showery rain here throughout the course of the game. Temperatures basically low to mid 40s through the fourth quarter. Temperatures between 43 and 45 in that north to north northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We issued an alert day here for tonight through tomorrow morning for our inland counties, so west of Chesapeake Bay, and that's because the soils here are saturated and any little bit of rain could add to flooding and we're forecasting one to two inches of rainfall. So that will impact our areas that have poor drainage flooding and street flooding that typically see it. Right now, just cloudy skies. We saw a little bit of early day sunshine. That was nice. And now the clouds have taken over. Now we're just waiting upon the rain. That rain arrival time between 7 and 9 p.m. You can see that rain working its way through central Virginia now. We're down to 42 degrees tonight. So 51 at 7 o'clock. Low 40s during the overnight hours and a high chance of rain building on in here. Here's your latest future radar. As you can see, the rain is here. 11 o'clock tonight when you're watching us, it'll be raining. And by the time you get up tomorrow morning, it will likely be raining. But the rain end time between 7 and 9. Then there's that dry slot we've been talking about. A period of just cloudy weather, probably dry and quiet. That will extend here through about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then after that, a showery rain fills on in here. So it's not dry, but that real heavy soaking rain is over, and a lot of these showers will linger into the overnight hours. Maybe even a few wet snowflakes mixed in uh, Sunday night, but they wouldn't accumulate with temperatures above freezing. How much rain are we talking about here? Well, some areas, one to two inches of rain. I think you're closer to two inch amounts would be in localized spots south of Baltimore City. Otherwise, as you can see during the day tomorrow, on and off rain with the heaviest over before 9 a.m. and then showery rain throughout the rest of the day. So the alert day tomorrow is through 9 in the morning, and then we'll cancel that here. 46 on Monday, 42 on Tuesday, a mixed shower on Wednesday, and then mild weather here Thursday and Friday with a few more showers Friday afternoon. We'll be right back.